My people, drama no they finish for this palace of Oni of Ife. Seriously, no they finish. Oh, not at all. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, my lovely people. Thank you so much for always being part of my channel and page, okay? It was alleged that Oni of Ife have summoned all the Oloris in the palace, you know, because of the recent development. Uh, uh, some days ago, it was uh, recorded that Dr. Elizabeth have been, she woke up at night shouting, screaming, bringing down the palace as in, according to her, she said that she, that some spirit, I be mean some whatever it is, have been pressing her as in pressing a kind of pressing that she no longer sleep that this whole thing started from the very first day she started sleeping in that palace but she have been keeping quiet all this while but now it is too much for her that she no she will no longer keep quiet about it that anytime she's sleeping that they will be pressing her uh, in case for those of you that don't understand what she meant by pressing, in this part of our country, in Africa, uh, we call it uh, witchcraft, this attack by the spirit of incubus and uh, succubus. But in America, uh, when you have experiences like that, they call it sleep paralysis. And in such a situation, they take it to mental hospitals where they will check that person very well. But here, we call it uh, pressing, pressing someone while she is sleeping. So this, the, this is the experience that Dr. Elizabeth has been experiencing ever since she started sleeping in the palace of Oni of Ife. And you know, Dr. Elizabeth, as we are told, oh, she is born and brought up abroad in Switzerland. So she have never experienced such a thing in her entire life. Even her mother that came to spend some weeks with, uh, with her in the palace said that she is disappointed for seeing such a thing in the palace of a great traditionalist like Oni of Ife. So she said that uh, she, that is why she started screaming and reported to the higher authority. And that made uh, Oni of Ife to summon all the Oloris in the house to warn them seriously about the whole thing. She said that, he said that this cannot be happening in a palace that have about 40 Ife priests. And he also is a great traditionalist. He said that whoever that is involved in this should desist from it. If not, that he is going to check and find out who the person is. And the person will be severely punished. So, and some people said that, uh, why is it that other, one of the wives said that, why is it that other wives are not uh, experiencing that? That it could be that uh, this is coming from your people. Maybe they don't want you to stay in the palace or something. That was when Ronke and uh, Temitope said that they too have been experiencing it, that it is not a new thing to them. But the fact remains that they want to handle it their own way. Being African women that they are, and most of them are not like uh, uh, Dr. Elizabeth that was born and brought up outside this africa you know and for the fact that she have not experienced anything like that she wouldn't have any clue on how to go about it and that was why she started screaming reporting to the king because if she keep quiet though maybe one night they go by her and that is not good for her so and only have threatened as in she have given the wife serious warning as in serious warning they said he changed it for them that he is not expected to hear such a such nonsense from his palace that if such a thing should repeat itself it's going to be a great and a big problem for that person that is involved because he will dip deeper into it to get to the root of it so my dear this is not a, a, a small thing, no. it is not small thing at all. 
Because even if we know that these things exist, uh, it's not supposed to be happening in the uh, palace of Oni of Ife. Being the caliber of a person that he is, and not just that he is, also, he's also a spiritualist. Then one thing we should know is this: for me, oh, I know say uh, most of these ladies they are highly prepared for polygamy, and it is also said that many of them are rooted as in spiritually rooted. They are spiritually inclined, so they can go as far as uh, taking whoever that is not prepared out of the way just to get to the point where they want to be you know women you know women you know women who are desperate who are desperate to become queens you know and that was that was why some netizens called them end time oloris <laughs> all these end time oloris the, the, the person said all these end time oloris they can do anything to take down anything that will be in their way to greatness and to remain in that palace and i don't think uh, mm, uh, pressing that person is out of it they can if <laughs> if that is a uh, another way they can get what they want because if the person continues definitely uh, dr elizabeth is not going to continue in that palace definitely she will leave yes because she has to run for her life and that was why uh only of if I have promised her that it is not going to repeat itself, that he is going to do something about it. He is going to fish out where the whole issue started. And that was why he warned the wives to stay off uh, Dr. Elizabeth. And that was when he said that it's, they are jealous of her. <laughs> but this jealous of, jealous of a thing, I don't even get it. Why would they be jealous of her? She has all everything they have. So why would they be jealous of her? <laughs> Some said that it's because she's a she have a doctorate degree. Eh, she have a doctorate degree. But that is not why uh, they are not doing educational challenge in the palace here. They are all oloris. If she ha if that uh, ed uh, the doctorate ed degree is that uh, special or the way the uh, only of uh, if they seen it. I don't think uh, Dr. Elizabeth is supposed to be in this palace. She's supposed to be in a greater place. Yes. And be married long ago because... Uh, not be me talking more. Now I hear, I hear them. Uh -huh. No, 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 go say... Nada, eh... The Lolo TV, now she talk, I beg. And I want to also, I want also to use this opportunity, opportunity to remind you that all these gist that we are bringing to you are all filtered from social media and other sources they are not for stand information we are not living with only of ife so they should be treated as such thank you so much for being part of my channel okay i love you guys for your support my god will surely bless you if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe okay uh -huh. see you guys in my next video bye for now love you guys